State. Travis Brown is the author of How Money Walks, and surely it has been doing some big walking. We've also got Robert Frank, who has been covering this story since the beginning. But give us your story, your side of the story, Travis. Well, it's quite simple. Millions of Americans have been fleeing from high-tax states and moving to or flocking to low-tax states, and our data covers 15 years by the Eternal Revenue Service and the United States Census Bureau. And but, what did you, I mean, you found, uh, is it as the states change their tax policies or as people have their income levels change? I mean, I guess it's a little bit of both, right? What you found is an awful lot of people, if the correlation is there, well, taxes no, up, they move, right? Well, not only that, but we don't start on the same equal footing. We have nine states today that don't tax a personal income. Uh, that includes states like Texas on the map that have had tremendous gains of over 22 billion. Uh, the largest one that we can talk about is right here with Florida, 86 billion dollars that's moved over the last 15 years there, not just wealth but people as well. And on the flip side, states that have had and that recently increase their personal income tax rates, mm -hmm. like California, have already been seeing a massive exodus of money and people. Well, you know what? I mean, Robert Frank, just the other day, right, we were speaking about California specifically with regards to Phil Mickelson and his comments about the potential that he might see some big dramatic changes in his life. But we were saying, and you specifically said, we don't expect a massive wealth flight because there are greater considerations quite often on the table. Well, that's what the current academic research shows. I mean, I, I love this chart. This is like my new Angry Birds. I could play with this at my desk for hours. It's just amazing what they put together here. And, you know, we talked about Phil Mickelson, the fact that, you know, he's just... Those, those rates in California now 13.3% for personal income plus the new federal tax rates at a certain point. And, you know, look at this. These numbers, these outflows, $31 billion going out of California this was up through 2010, so these tax increases that they just had, we don't know what those are going to do. Now, the previous research does show that there is no conclusive connection between tax rates and the reason that people move. But what I love about this map is you do see a pattern toward, mm -hmm. toward the lower tax. Hey, let's take a look at New York, one of my favorites here, uh, net change of $58 billion. Almost all of that, uh, a lot of that to Florida, which, of course, better weather. That is a factor. People are retiring, so we don't know what right. role taxes played, but most of that money going to Florida. Very, very quickly. I mean, they're going to kill me in the booth, but I've got a question, Travis. I mean, you noted the migration to Florida. How much of that is demographic? I mean, people move to Florida when they retire. They've got a fixed income. What? And I know they don't have an income tax down there, but isn't it the weather and the fact that they're retiring that they're going to Florida for? Well, by no means are we suggesting that taxes are the only factor, but it would also be equally uh, wrong to suggest that they're not a big factor. Right. The data that we have here on HowMoneyWalks.com suggests that it's not just a retirement effect. It's not just a sunshine effect. Flor Floridians are becoming residents and staying that way when they're also working and they're, and they're earning because if they weren't, they wouldn't show up in this data over the last 15 years. And, and there's just one more really important point. This, this does not show wealth created by people who live in California and stay there. So there are more millionaires in California and New York than anywhere in the country. And the, these numbers do not include the wealth created by Facebook, by Good all point. these companies. That, and that's not in this map. So we have to factor in the homegrown wealth creation in these states, which Got is it. substantial. Travis Brown, the book Good is point. called How Money Works or Walks. Thank you. And Robert, enjoy your new Thanks. toy there. <laughs> Thanks, I will. See you later. Works or walks, whatever. Yeah. So make a billion dollars and the memories last forever. Billionaire financier George Soros broke the Bank of England, made a billion dollars by short selling sterling over 20 years.